Hi everyone, welcome to the session where we will learn about the determinant of a matrix with the help of Python packages like NumPy and SciPy. Along with that, I will also show the show you the uh, background mechanism of how we will calculate a determinant using pen and paper. So let's start. So this is my Jupyter notebook, and I will import the NumPy, and I will also import the SciPy packages. Okay. Now what I will do, I will create a two by two. I, I'll create a matrix first, okay? And p dot. So my matrix one is created, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Now what if I if I want to calculate the determinant of this matrix? Then, in order to get the determinant, we'll use the numpy. So we'll say that n p dot linear algebra p dot determinant. And then we'll pass the matrix for which we need to find the determinant. The moment we do this, we'll get an error because if you see, it will say that last two dimension of an array must be in square. So the very basic, the very first uh, and the foremost important thing while calculating the determinant of a matrix is the matrix has to be a square matrix like two by two, three by three, four by four, five by five. Like the number of rows of a matrix should be equal to the number of columns of a matrix. So we'll delete this too. We'll calculate the matrix. Now my matrix is two by two matrix. And now if we calculate this, I'll get something like np dot linear algebra dot. The value is two minus 2.9. If you calculate with pen and paper, it will be minus three. What I will do now is I will show you the mechanism of how we calculate using the pen and paper, the determinant. Okay. There is a very good site, uh, mathisfun.com, and there there is a lot of example and also how you can use uh, using uh, pen and paper the determinant. So suppose this is a determinant. Suppose there is a two by two determinant. I'll say a matrix two by two matrix A is equals to a b c then the determinant of this matrix A, determinant will be equals to A into this from this into this. This means A into D minus B into C. And this is what clearly they've explained here. If you want to calculate this, 3 into 6 minus 8 into 4. Also, if you want to see the example which I have used just now, so you can see that 1, 2, 4, 5, right? So if I say, here a is equals to 1 2 4 and 5 the determinant of a will be equals to 1 into 5 minus 2 into 4 which is equals to 5 minus 8 and this is equals to minus 3. that's what i have shown you using the numpy linear algebra dot determinant uh, function now there is the other way like instead of using the uh, like numpy you can also use scipy so you can say that linear Alg dot determinant of matrix one. Calculate this, you will get the exact value. So there is a the the determinant calculated by using the numpy. If you round it, you will get minus three. And in the uh, like uh, the determinant or uh, using uh, scipy is coming exactly as minus three. So up to your it's uh, your uh, like choice. Now again, how do we calculate a three by three that uh, matrix and calculate the determinant of a three by three matrix? Okay. For 3 by 3 matrix, suppose we have the value here A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So in this case, you have to give A and then just what you do. Suppose I am saying that A is equals to A, B, C, G, H, I. So in this case, it will be like directly. What you do? You, you create a perpendicular and the horizontal line. And you write A because this is the intersection followed by the determinant of the left leftovers. E, F, H, I then minus of the minus and the plus symbol is for the very first element it will be plus minus and plus so plus is here minus is here and then for b if you see you take a horizontal and perpendicular line line okay then the intersection is b followed by a c followed by c okay this and this then you are left with d f g i d f g i plus C and the determinant of you take a perpendicular and the horizontal will be D E G H D E G H. Okay. And in this way you can calculate the value of a determinant. 
Okay, now what I will do, I will create a matrix, okay, matrix 2, which is 3 by 3 matrix. Okay, and I will, using both NumPy and SciPy, will calculate that data. So, linear, using NumPy, it will be np.lin linear algebra dot determinant dt and then we'll pass matrix 2. We'll get the value 21. Now, what is the value using scipy dot determinant and then we'll pass the value coming is. So if you see, the value is nearby. If you, you can round it and you can get the value as 21. So, uh, scipy package and the numpy package is using different set of calculations. So, they have different mechanism. That's why we are getting a different value, but it's not that much different. It's just, uh, if you round it off, you'll get the value as minus. That's 21 okay and even here also if you round you will get a value minus 3 now what is the how do we calculate for a 4 by 4 matrix okay for a 4 by 4 matrix simple if you go to this side it will be like if we have that a b c d then if we have something like this right uh, a, so what we need to do is take a horizontal line and a perpendicular line, line okay and before that the sequence of the uh, sign will be plus minus plus minus so a followed by the determinant this is the full determinant okay this this is the full determinant it will come f g h j k l n o p then minus of b like the way it is explained here e i m g h k l o p and the way you can uh, calculate and also the they have given you the pattern for the signs plus minus plus minus okay plus for a minus for b plus for c uh, and minus for d now what i will show you now i will just give you an example and calculate the value of a 4 by 4 determinant so what i'll say matrix 4 is equals to this this is a 4 by 4 matrix and we will get the value of this is the value okay so but you can see here in both the cases is coming so this is the way how we calculate the determinant of a matrix using the numpy as well as using the scipy package and even i have shown you like mathematically using a pen and paper how you can calculate uh, calculate the determinant of a matrix and the most important thing the numbers of rows and the number of columns should be equal and also in case if any of the row or any of the column is zero then the value of the determinant will be zero because it's a simple calculation when I say this, right, A, B, C, what I am saying is that A into this plus B into this uh, minus B into plus C. So, 0 into 0 into 0, this this value will become 0. So, if any of my column or of row is, is entirely 0, then blindly you can say the determinant of that matrix, okay, is 0. So, thanks a lot for watching the session. If you feel this video is helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and also refer to your friend. And I will see you in my next video, which is related to the sparse matrix. So, thank you.